All right, BJ. Uh, first off, the match pace started real slow for you tonight, yeah, yeah. and then it picked up in the third period. Yeah. Was yeah. that on purpose? Uh, no, I mean, felt a little sluggish in the beginning. Uh, seven hour trip today, we, we drove, and then had those extra two and a half pounds. So, I mean, it was, a little, it was a little bit, you know, a little struggle to, you know, get my legs underneath me in the beginning. Uh, the second and third period, you know, coach said, all right, let's go, open up now. And uh, I just kept going, and then think about the, uh, me getting tired or anything like that, I just kept going. You know, I look, you know, we've talked last year, I interviewed you, you had a big win at the NCAA tournament, and then, you you know, in the interview, you said, I'm not a one-hit wonder. Yeah. You're an All-American as a freshman, you're fifth as a, as a freshman. And, uh, you know, you have an All-American since you're in your fifth year now. You know, you look at it, you know, maybe you've wrestled a little tight in the NCAA tournament since then. Uh, yeah, for sure. I definitely think that, uh, you know, I, I feel like I'm holding on to something that, that's not necessarily there. You know, I'm trying to protect something that's not there. And uh, every day my coach is just trying to say, you know, listen, BJ, just keep going. Keep grinding in the practice room and just keep on doing everything you got to do. You know, you don't want to go you don't want to go to nationals and not place this year. And then everyone's going to think you're a one-hit wonder because obviously you only, you only did your freshman year. So let's... Let's make something happen. So I think that like it was just it just all I had to do with my training, you know, today in preparation for this match. And t- just taking it one day at a time, you know. And not getting so caught up in my wrestling or anything like that. It's just staying dialed in and worry about one match at a time. You know, if you look at 157, everybody's got, you know, obviously, oh, nobody can win but Nolf, right? Yeah. And, and you know, you've wrestled Carmer this year yeah. at Carver Hawkeye. And uh, you know you you felt those guys. You yeah. wrestled actually. Who did you wrestle? Nall or Zane to a close match? I wrestled uh, Zane to a, a plus real close match. match, right? And uh, yeah, very close. And uh, I think that it was just me, and, you know, just just really just maintaining my position in that match. And I feel like when I go out, when I wrestle up and tell you, he just lost to uh, North six six five or something like that. Close match, yeah. I, I beat, he got written out. Yeah, and I beat I beat Pantelli by seven points, you know. So yeah. I just look at that and my coaches look at that and they just say, listen BJ, you're right there, you know where you need to be. You know how good you are and no one should be beating you on the mat. And every day it's just preparation for that national tournament. You've had some mixed results, you know, you say beaten by Pantelio by seven points and, and you take a, a tough loss to Kemmerer yeah. and Carver Hawkeye. Yeah. What do you think you took from that loss? Oh uh, definitely a lot. I mean I had a couple, you know, losses this year that I'm not really proud of. You know that I should be undefeated, in my opinion. And I think just me losing to uh, Kimmer the way I did it just made me realize that I still have a lot of training to do and a lot of mental work to fix. And I think that it's just really just you know, like I said before, it's just preparation and just getting ready to, you know, be on top of that podium. Because I mean, it's my last year to do it, and I I wanted more than mostly anyone, you know, at the tournament. So. That all comes with extra training, extra work, and qualifying for the tournament, you know? So I think that's a big wake-up call for me, and just, like I said before, just keep preparing for it. Coach Taylor's gone, now it's Coach Hanji. You've been with Hanji the whole time. Taylor's not gonna be here for the last year. You're, you're in a really unique position yeah. where, historically, in rider wrestling, you're in a crazy transition time, yeah. right? Yeah. What was it like having Coach Taylor, and now not having Coach Taylor, and what's Coach Hanji like as a head coach? Well, first and foremost, Coach Hans is an excellent, great, great head coach. You know, uh, he's always pushing us in the room. He's always telling us, you know, encouraging us to be better. You know, he's always he tells us what's wrong, what we need to fix, and he's always there for the whole team as a whole. You know, we're all like his sons. So I think that he's he's an excellent coach as a whole, as a head coach, and you know, I'm proud that you know I got a chance to have him as a head coach. And Coach Taylor, also another great guy. You know. Third winning coach in the NCAA, you know, so he has a lot. He had a lot to offer to the table, and his top game, he helped me on my top. So I think that both coaches work in different ways, but they're both phenomenal coaches. Yeah, you know, I miss miss Coach Taylor, you know, but he's always in the room with us. And he's always always telling us what we're doing wrong, as you know, all the time. So I think that you know having him still there in the room with us, helping us, you know, I think that's that's a huge benefit for us as a program and then having coach Kilgore as well you guys won the EWL two years ago right yeah Edinburgh Sunday right Edinburgh Sunday I mean that's kind of the measuring stick right you know Lock Haven stuff again this year yeah. right but you know Edinburgh's they're the standard in the league you know you guys did knock them off a couple years ago um, big match for you yep. with Shomers um, what are your thoughts you know I mean it, it's coming down the wire here man this yeah. is all done in two months for you yeah, exactly. do you realize that yeah. is that sinking in yet yes it, it, you know and that's the thing you know uh, I think in the beginning of the season it hasn't sunken in, 
And then now, you know, when it's actually conference time, you know, we're wrestling our conference teams, I look at that, I'm like, wow, holy crap, man. Like, it's grind season now, you know. I really got to get going, you know. I got to get on my high horse, start preparing every day, get in better shape, better than I am now. And just really, you know, preparing for tomorrow, I mean, on Sunday for Edinburgh, and taking that one day and then worry about next week and train, you know, my weight down and get ready for that match as well. And back here for the NCAs. Yes. You pumped for that? Yes, I'm excited, man. You know, uh, I mean, I've been in NCAAs every year, and I think that right now it's my last year, and I'm going out with a bang, and that's my goal. So right now it's just preparation, like I said, multiple times, you know, dedication, you know, hard work, effort, heart, and getting my mindset to where it needs to be to be a national champ. All right, hey, thanks for the time. Right. Good luck. You know we'll be back here in Cleveland. You know we'll be at the EWL yep. and, and get it done, man, all right? Thank you.